Hello everyone. In this tutorial today, we shall be learning how to create professional company sales invoice in Microsoft Excel. First, open the blank template of the Excel sheet you want to use in creating your sales invoice. Change the name of the Excel sheet from sheet 1 to invoice. Click on View tab, select Page Layout. We merge these cells together. Go to Home tab, click on Merge and Center. Then we type in Invoice. Highlight, increase the font, make it bold. Click here and change the color. You can use any color that suits your desire. At the left hand side, first I put in the logo. To do that, I click on picture, go offline. I select the logo of the company. When I click off, you will see the logo. So I click back. Click here, shift the logo to the center, click on header and footer, format picture, I reduce the size of the picture. So we now have a logo up there. So the next thing I'm going to do is to add the company's name. After that, I add the company address. Then I add the company's phone number. Then the company's email. I click on the name, highlight, I mesh. Click on the address merge the phone number i do the same thing and then the email highlight then i bold at the right hand side i type in invoice number date of invoice date due. I highlight, then I merge, highlight, merge, and do the same thing to date due. I merge this one too. I highlight all, click on this drop down and select all borders. You come to this cell, type in bill to, then I put the company's name, street, city, state, Phone number. I merge the cells. Highlight, merge and center, then I bold. Merge these cells as well.
I highlight from here to the phone number. I click this box to give border to all the cells. I click here to put in the details of the product. Serial number, product description, quantity, unit price, then the amount. I highlight from home tab, I click on center. When I highlight here, merge and center, I use control plus B to build it. I merge and center all these cells. I will come back once I'm through with merging them. So I'm back. Here, I click here. I type in dollar sign and here as well. I highlight the two, center the dollar sign, I put, I highlight click this box to put borders around it. I put serial numbers I highlight, I want the serial numbers to be centered, then I click center. So I put serial numbers, then I type in product one, put in quantity and the unit price under this table, and then I type in subtotal. Click enter, type in but five percent then discount ten percent total highlight it mesh I like all and the bold. I merge these two cells as well. I highlight all, click on this box. Then on the left hand side, I put terms and conditions. Then I put in the conditions. I click on this highlight and merge. Click here, highlight and merge, as well as this one. Then I come under here and type in prepared by. Then here I put in shaped by. And here I put received by. I match and center. Highlight all, use control plus B to build it. I click on this one, come to borders, I select top border. I click on this one as well, select top border and this. So I highlight the border, select tick bottom border, come here and do the same thing to make the lines to be thick. Then I come under here and type in I match and center. Then under here I put the name of the person they are supposed to contact in case they have any issue concerning this inbox.
then I put the phone number and the official email. Highlight this, merge and center. So the next thing we are going to look into is to put the price of the products. So if I type in equal sign, click on this cell, put plus sign, and click on this. If I click enter, we have the total amount. But when I highlight the cover to product 11, you notice that we have zeros in the remaining positions. So let's say we don't want these zeros. There are many formulas you can use for this. I highlight these cells that have zeros. Click on format. Then I come down to this place and click format cells. As it opens up, I make sure I'm in number. Then I come to custom. I will replace here with zero. I click OK. And then the zeros will disappear. But once you put anything in these cells, the answer will be here. So I copy and paste for the rest of the products. So now I have put in the products and I want to paste in this quantity and unit price. And then I use Ctrl plus V to paste. You will notice that it immediately fill up the total amount. So let's say I highlight, click on center. Now, how do we calculate subtotal? To do this, I put equal sign, put in sum, open bracket, I click here, highlight, close bracket, we have the subtotal, BAT is 5%, which is equals subtotal times 0 0.05, and then discount is 10%, which is equals subtotal, times 0 0.1. So how do we get the overall total? We put equal sign, put the subtotal plus the VAT minus the discount. We press enter. So this is the total amount they will pay if they pay net 30 days. Let's preview. I click on file, print. This is the preview. So we have come to the end of this tutorial today. Please, if you do get any value from this tutorial, give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, click the bell icon so YouTube will notify you once I drop a new video. Do share this video with family and friends. Have a wonderful day.